Okay, I'm Walt, the West Palm Dog, and this is Louie, and what we're working on is the tunnel. See the thing set up right in front of me? This is the tunnel. So Louie's a little freaked out by it. So what we're doing is basically using it as a confidence building exercise. So what I've been doing is just throwing a piece of food inside of it, just to get him comfortable with putting his head inside. So I'm not like asking for any obedience. Look at that, very nice. I'm just trying to get him comfortable with putting his body in there. And every time we get our puppy to do something that they're kind of uncomfortable with, what it does is it forces them, there we go, not from that side. There we go. Look at that. What a good boy. That was the first time I've been able to feed him from the other side while he was a, oh, oh that was a boy's throw ever. Let's try this again, Louie. That's it. You can do it. You can do it, Louie. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you're so brave. So we go from a point where Louie doesn't want to get near it to the point now he's putting his head through it, then almost his entire body. And we keep working this so that he understands that even though things can be scary at some point, you can work through them and they can end up being really positive experiences. That's it. Yes. Yes. Very good. Oh, that was so brave, Louie. Sometimes petting them helps, giving them a little bit of reassurance. Other times they end up backing up. You know, this feels different than a bunch of stuff that they're used to. It's a tight space, so it can be a little bit challenging. Look at that, very nice. <laughs> and that is just a design flaw. Unfortunately, the tunnel collapsed on. But as you can see, he's undaunted. And that is a sign of a dog that's willing to adapt. At least for the right treats, right, Louie?